<laughs> Hello, dolls. It is I, Artwork of DR. You know your girl. And, um, yeah, I don't really know how to start this video off besides saying hi. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. But here is my video about checking on my Hemi gouache set. Um, are they still usable? I've had these paints for almost two years. Can you believe it? Um, in March of this year, it'll be two years since I've had this set. Um, they are pretty cheap. I got mine off of Amazon, as you see here, and I don't use them all that often, to be honest with you. I do let them sit. They sit next to a window, and that window also happens to be near a he heater vent. So, they do tend to dry out quite a lot, which you'll see here in a moment, but the reason why I wanted to check in on my wash set and actually show the process to you is because I actually believe this set is worth getting. I know people are like, it's just one of those like gimmicks and stuff, blah, 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 blah. That's what I thought when I first got it, guys, but it's not. Like, it is a very easily usable product. This, it might seem childish in like school range or something, but I feel like it does a really good quality job. I have done multiple paintings over the last two years, small, medium, and like larger pieces with more detail and stuff. And it's actually usable with other mediums as well. I have used it with my watercolors as well as on their own. So I feel like you get a very good amount of color here, you get 18 of them, and you don't have to mix them up to make your own colors because they give you quite a few options, but it's still great for learning how to mix colors as well. You get two different whites, you have at least two of each color, like you get two reds, two yellows, three greens, three blues, two browns, purple, and a pink color, and you get two brown, three browns, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you get a black, it's great. So I feel like you get a good amount of color, and each pot is actually really good. Now, if you are going to be using them more often, you probably will go through them faster. But for me, I don't paint with them every single time I paint, and they actually do go quite a ways. Um, you can you do layering effects with them, as long as you don't get them too wet. They work really well with layering. Uh, I only have one other gouache set, and that is an Arteza gouache set. And honestly, I don't use those ones that often because they are in tubes and that means I have to put them down on a palette or something to use them and sometimes I just don't feel like doing that so that is why I felt I got th this set was so that I could do both uh, I actually really enjoy using this set so I thought it would be great to do a short little video about it all I'm doing here is reactivating them I am soaking them with water after a few months of not using them I, like I said, I let them sit for a long period of time, but I do randomly try to check on them and spritz them with water and then close them back up. If I do happen to forget, because life gets busy when you are a mother of three and dealing with life, um, if you're, you know, I think everyone knows what that's like. If you're not a mom, you at least know that you have a busy life or something. So anyway, sometimes it gets away with us and we don't check in on our supplies. But I've never had these mold on me, and every time I've re-wet them, and made them all nicely jelly painted again. When I use them, it's like they're fresh and new. I'm, I don't have any problems with them connecting to the paper or staying on the paper. I actually have a new painting coming up after this video. Um, I, it's gonna have its own separate video, but they're used right after I re-wet these. So, I mean, I'm gonna show you a few of my previous works throughout the last two years that I did with these. And when I come out with the next painting video, which is going to be amazing, by the way, because it's like a alternative timeline piece. I really hope you guys stick around for that. Um, of one of my favorite animes, Inuyasha, there is a character that I am in love with, I've always been in love with, so I'm not gonna tell you all the details, but if you follow me on my other social medias, you have probably have seen some of the whips. So, you already know where it's going. But anyway, so here upcoming is where you're gonna see some of the old the old things, and if I do have videos to them, I will link them for you. Anyway, dolls, I appreciate you hanging in there and checking out my video. I know I've been gone, but I'm really trying to make more videos. Um, it's just really hard to figure out scheduling right now. We're still adapting to our new home life schedule. Lots of things have changed in the last few months, so stick around with me and 
bear with me on that and I promise I will start making more videos soon. Comment, share, like, whatever you want. Please, I appreciate all your support and don't forget to follow me on my other social medias if you do not already. I have an Instagram and a TikTok with all with artwork of DR. So thank you again, my dolls, for hanging in there with me and checking out my video. I appreciate you dolls and don't forget to keep those creative juices flowing because you know I will. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I appreciate you.